So this is a very cheap um, fire detection, a smoke detector, bought on eBay. So it's powered by a nine volt uh, battery, and I have added into uh, this sensor uh, an ESP8266 connected to internet and allowing to um, to send uh, the alarm to the smartphone. I will trigger the alarm. I stop it, and, and just after the ESP will connect to internet and send the notification to the smartphone. It could take a few minutes or a few seconds. So here it is. So even when the phone is locked, I get the notification fire alarm. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I will open the box so you will see how it is connected. So you have only three clips to, uh, to remove and the cover can go out. And I have just added this uh, uh, homemade ESP board, which is glued on the top of the cover and hidden inside. Uh, you will see in the next uh, part of this video how the connection is done on the main board. So here is um, a smoke detection sensor that you can find on eBay. I have picked up the signal generated to trigger the siren, which is a series of pulse uh, using a diode rectifier here and a low pass filter. So that there is here on this pin the envelope of the, of the pulse. And I use this 3 volt signal to power a MOSFET here and to put the power on my uh, ESP8266 board, which is then connected to Firebase and send a notification to uh, your smartphone. So we'll make a test. Okay, I will just push. Oh. So I will push the test button. I stop the test, and you you have seen that the uh, ESP has been powered and is now uh, going to Firebase, and I have immediately received the notification that you can see here, even when the phone is locked, saying that there is a fire alarm. So that's it.